What's up guys, Swordsman here, and I am back with some more MW3. I've got the MP7. Uh, this game is uh, maybe two weeks old, I guess. Uh, I did take a break from playing MW3 after the day after Christmas or so for a little bit of a week. Um, this is the MP7, and oh, that was a rough start. Now, this game actually starts off pretty rough. Uh, I, I considered using it as like a part two of... Uh, turning around a slow game, but decided, nah, let's just uh, make it just a general commentary about this uh, game and this weapon and stuff. And wow, the MP7, uh, ain't she a beaut, ladies and gentlemen, man, it is a very, very good gun, and this is a gun that I have goldened, um, I think it was my second gun that I've, I've gotten gold on, or plated, as some people call it, uh, whatever you want to prefer to label it as, plating, golding, whatever. It's, whenever I pick this gun up, I mean, I've clearly used it enough to get it gold, but it, it is a very solid weapon, and I, I'd put it away for a while while I was working on the MP5 gold, which I think I still need, like, a couple games to top that off before I went on my break. But I swapped to this for a game, and I just felt like, because I, I have 10 class slots now, and I keep two, two of my previously gold guns set up in case I just want to whip out those and have some fun. Um... One of those would be my Golden Striker. Love that class. Love that class. I will admit it needs a bit of a nerf, but it is so much fun to use. I'm not lying. And then the other one is the uh, the MP7 I still keep, even though I've golden, I plated it, whatever. Um, I don't know. This, this setup, I believe I'm running extended mags and kick. Uh, some feel that kick is optional, but uh, I like it nonetheless. I also have Sleight of Hand, Assassin, and maybe Steady Aim for my third perk, I think? Uh, does Theater Mode show you? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, oh man, I wish I would have hit that throwing knife on the little uh, Riot Shield guy, but it was not meant to be. Alright, uh, but yeah, continuing on. This this gun, I don't know, like some people... I, I watched uh, or listened to Boo Man's thoughts on Twitter the other day about this gun, and uh, yeah... Yeah, he's not wrong about just how the magic stuff just starts to happen when you pick up this damn gun and it's nice little triple spray going up the, the stairs to this house. I don't know. I don't know what it is about this house, but in kill confirmed, uh, maybe not so much in domination, but people seem to flock to that little house. And whoever controls that area seems to have an upper hand, but I don't like to go in the house very much. I like to patrol around the house. I would rather have control of this this big expansive courtyard. Watch all these angles from the courtyard instead of going into that little house. But that's just me. Uh, clearly, it seems to work for some people that go ape shit when they get into that house and they just they refuse to come out of the corners in there and shit. And there's plenty of little nooks and crannies for them to move from corner to corner to to uh, get their camp on. So whatever's clever, I guess. Whatever works for them. Uh, I started to run out of MP7 ammo, so I picked up this, what is this, the PP901? The dildo gun. Let's just go with the dildo gun. Uh, once I finish with the MP5, I think uh, this dildo gun will be the next SMG I work on uh, plating. Uh, I will go for the gold on that. I'm currently working on the spaz shotgun category. Um, what else? Uh, I've also been working on a variety of assault rifles, so I guess I don't really have... I guess I've primarily been using the ACR for my assault rifle weapon. Uh, I haven't played it in assault rifle since I got the gold G36C. Kind of missed that gun. Maybe I should set that one back up because the G36C has a lot of recoil, you know? But the recoil is always, always, always predict predictable. Excuse me. Uh, it will always go straight up. It, it just it just does. It doesn't go left. It doesn't go right. It doesn't go da diagonal. It will always go straight up. So for me, when I know how the recoil will 100% behave, I know how to control it better because it's no sort of guesswork and like, oof, wow, like, like fumbling all over the sticks and whatnot. You, you always want to just be tugging it down a little bit to compensate for the vertical recoil. And the G36C really, really is a good uh, setup to rock. Kind of makes me miss it now, but oh well, such is life. Next time I play, I might have to set it up and go uh, give it a whirl. So yeah, I guess uh, just a fun little kill confirm game here. We uh, did start off on a pretty bit of a bad start. They were pulling ahead of us, but um, I got into the right spot at the right time, I guess, when they were all trying to get into that house, and I had a 
mostly fully loaded MP7, and I just uh, tore them a new asshole and helped carve us out a nice little lead here that I think... We mostly preserve this lead throughout the game, about a 10 ticket lead or 10 tag lead for the most part, I think. But uh, yeah, what have you guys been doing in MW3 as of late? Are you guys still playing? I know the, uh, what, about 20 days now or so, the new DLC maps will come out for the Elite members, I think. I'm kind of wondering how that'll work. I mean. From what I've noticed, I mean, the people I talk to in my, like, Twitter or my friends list, there's not a ton of founders on Xbox Elite, so, like, will there be, like, eight people trying to play the maps and whenever they release that day, or, like, what, will we be standing there unable to find lobbies or something until, what is it, a week later or something? I, I don't know how that's gonna work, that could be frustrating, like, the, the, the new maps might release and then we might not be able to find a game with them, but, I don't know, we, uh... Guess you just gotta wait and see. Um, I think it's about 20 days from now, I think, ish, for the first map pack. Kind of curious. Uh, I, I would not uh, mind if they added in a couple long-range maps. Um, maybe brought back a favorite or two from COD4, MW2. Uh, maybe some. Uh, what was it? Um, God, I'm totally failing on it. Favela, Favela. Like that map. I liked. I actually liked High Rise, though. I guess that'd be a smaller map. Um, I think High Rise might be able to work in MW3. There were a lot of flank routes in that, in that map, so I don't know. What maps would you guys want to see? Um, what, what are some other good ones? I like Terminal. I, I really, really enjoyed Terminal on a variety of game types. Um, I even like Derailed, but I, I think I'm the only person of my friends that I've ever spoken to that enjoyed Derail. So, I don't know. Some COD 4 goodies. Um, would not mind seeing Strike. Um... Maybe some broadcast. Remember that from the the DLC in COD 4? Wouldn't mind some broadcast. Ah, so many memories of some good maps that I used to enjoy so much. You know what? I, I would even take... What was that What was that one on MW2? That uh, big open field and shit. What was, was that? No, not Ambush. Invade? No, not Invasion. What, overground? No, not, that was COD 4. Overground. What the hell was that one that... Um, fuck, I can't remember. That big wide open thing and it had like the... Like the fenced off nuclear areas around the side. What the hell was that? Not. I don't know. Uh, it was the one white boy who supposedly got the world's fastest nuke on, I think, with the fucking noob tube shit. I don't know. But yeah, that map, I, I, I wouldn't mind that map coming back. Nice big wide open map, you know? Um, bring me back COD 4 Bog, and oh my god, I might shit my pants. Though I don't know how that would fare with all the air support and stuff in MW3 in the modern game, but um, I used to love me some bog, not gonna lie. I That damn trash mount on Bravo, that, that was my little hill. I, I controlled that bitch. Maybe even some block. I could get in for some block. I don't know. Uh, the DLC is coming. I am excited for it. Uh, I have been cycling through my games trying to keep them as fresh as possible. And it's been pretty damn good overall so far. Going to be looking to hop into uh, MW3 some more, get some fresh gameplay for you guys. Maybe do a couple weapon reviews in MW3. Since I'm not really doing weapon reviews for Battlefield 3. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your DLC thoughts. And let me know what your thoughts are on the MP7. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give a thumbs up. And uh, hey, follow me on Twitter too. Let's plug that because uh, I probably spend more time on Twitter lately than I do browsing YouTube. Take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That was an 1887 or whatever kill cam. Love that gun. See you, guys.